Is TikTok colluding with Russia to spread misinformation and propaganda across the internet? Let's look into that. Hi everybody, I'd like to talk to you about what's going on on TikTok this week. I've noticed a lot of people who are leaning left are getting kicked off of the app or they're getting demonetized entirely. I'll show you some examples from people that I follow on TikTok. Hello, this is Greg the Uber driver. My Uber driver account, Greg the Uber driver, has been permanently banned from TikTok. At this point, I don't know why. Yesterday, I was the victim of a mass MAGA attack and my account was banned at 25,000 followers. So I wanna talk about all these creators getting banned, but large creators and small like are getting banned en masse. And it happened directly after the news broke about the Kremlin pain, tenant media, and all those MAGA media podcasters and whatnot. So here's my question to TikTok. Russia is under international and US sanctions allowing Russia bot farms and bot networks to mass report creators' pages here in U.S. soil, to me, would be third-party accomplice to violation of sanctions. And that is something I hope that Garland looks into to get you set straight and finally, once and for all, kick off all these Russian paid-for bot networks. Because TikTok, we, the creators, have made you successful, regardless of party politics. And we, the creators, have worked our butt off to fight back against the US government in trying to ban you. So what are you doing to protect us from being banned, TikTok? It seems like most of us are coming to the same conclusion. TikTok may be allowing Russia to spread propaganda on their app because the RT network is still on TikTok even after it got banned on YouTube. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chaz and I have over 577,000 TikTok followers right now. Within the last couple of weeks, I've started talking about politics on my channel, which is something that I hadn't done before. I find it very ironic that just a couple days after the Department of Justice in the US charged a couple of Russians who work with RT network in connection with an agency out of Tennessee that was was hiring social media influencers and podcasters to spread Russian propaganda across the internet. These right-wing influencers claim that they were duped, that they're victims in this scenario somehow, but they were spreading anti-Ukraine propaganda, and that's exactly what Russia wanted them to do. Now there's a TikTok channel called Midas Touch, and a lot of people on TikTok go there for their news because it's known to be very honest and direct. But the Midas Touch TikTok channel got banned last week, and a whole lot of people came together to try to get this channel back up and running, and they were successful. Hey everybody, Jordy here with the Midas Touch Network. It doesn't make sense, other than this is obviously some sort of coordinated effort to silence pro-democracy voices or, or vehicles of pro-democracy voices. But for a lot of people who duetted the videos from Midas Touch, they were demonetized on TikTok. I've been getting DMs from folks who said that they were part of the TikTok creator program and they had duetted some of the Midas Touch videos. And when the Midas Touch account was targeted and banned, what happened was a lot of these small accounts were kicked out of the creator program because their content was affected by these phony content violations. Now, I didn't duet or share their videos. I just heard about them after the fact, but I'm following them now. But it sure seems really suspicious suspicious when you hear about all these other creators talking about how they believe that Russian bots mass reported their accounts and got them taken off of TikTok. Someone needs to talk about this because it has been announced many of times that Russia is paying bot farms in different countries inside of Africa to push pro-Russian propaganda. On top of them pushing the pro-propaganda, which you can read in most of my videos because they're in the comment section, they also attack creators, going after videos, getting things removed or removing them from the creator program. And well, right now, my account is going through a massive, massive attack to the point to where now they're reporting it for being not original. And well, in just the past 24 hours, I had about six videos being removed for not being original. So we need reporters to talk about this. We need NBC, CBS, Wall Street Journal, who can just share this with them because this is clearly Russia winning in a way. And somehow, I don't know how TikTok is even allowing this to happen, but it's probably the reason why they're going to get banned. So once again, tag all of your reporter friends and the news because this needs to be talked about. They can't seem to get the mainstream media to pick up on this story. And the only reason I can think of why that might be happening is because the mainstream media has been offering advertising space to TikTok. So TikTok is their sponsor and the media doesn't want to piss off a sponsor. 
Slick move, TikTok. Last Friday, I was demonetized from the creator fund. I appealed and TikTok rejected my appeal. And I reported this to TikTok Tech and their response was a generic answer that I should have followed the guidelines. The only problem is I didn't have any strikes on my account and they weren't specific about what guideline they were accusing me of violating. So I've done everything in my power to try to find out why TikTok is taking my money away. They owe me over $900 right now. I was counting on my creator fund income. I earned it and I believed I would be receiving it. It's kind of strange that any company, including social media, has the right in the United States to work you for five weeks, profit from the work that you've performed, and then turn around and rob you of the money that you earned, simply because they claim that you violated a rule, but they can't tell you the rule that you violated. <sighs> so absolutely none of that makes any sense to me at all. But a lot of us are starting to think that perhaps TikTok is in cahoots with Russia. When you consider that RT and Tenet still have propaganda pages on TikTok, as we all know, a law was passed in the United States that would ban TikTok in our country permanently. And that's supposed to take place in February. Whether or not that happens remains to be seen because TikTok has a few creators who are actually suing the government claiming that their free speech is being violated. But of course those of us who are on TikTok understand that there is no free speech on that app. We have to be careful what we say. We can't say sexual assault. We have to say SA. We can't talk about rape without calling it grape. There are just a lot of unspoken rules on TikTok and most of us know that we have to follow them if we want to get our videos seen by anybody. But with all these left-leaning political commentators like myself being demonetized or banned from the app entirely, it sure looks like Russia is winning on TikTok. And it looks like China is helping them because TikTok is owned by ByteDance and ByteDance is 40% owned by China. This could be a massive disinformation psyop from not one, but two foreign adversaries. Do I trust TikTok? No. Should anyone trust TikTok? I wouldn't recommend it. If TikTok can take over $900 from me, imagine what they could do to a million TikTok users. And imagine how much money that would add up for profits for the company. I'll tell you my honest opinion. I think that right now TikTok represents a clear and immediate threat on democracy in the United States of America. I believe there is a strong potential that TikTok is meddling in our elections by allowing Russia to spread propaganda to the masses. In the coming weeks, I think we're going to be hearing a lot more about right-wing influencers getting busted for collaborating with Russia to spread misinformation. You might remember that when Donald Trump was president, he signed an executive order to ban TikTok. But then later he changed his mind after meeting with TikTok executives. But he certainly flip-flopped on that issue and decided that he wants TikTok to stay. And he's guaranteeing that if he becomes president, TikTok will not get banned. For all of those that want to save TikTok in America, vote for Trump. The other side's closing it up. Even though that law was already passed by Congress and signed by President Biden. I not only believe that TikTok needs to be banned, but I think it needs to be banned ASAP. In fact, it should be banned before it can spread any more misinformation about this election. I've been on TikTok for two years and they have a history of suppressing my content, removing followers from my list without any notice, and now robbing me of my monetization. 99% of the products that are heavily promoted on TikTok are from China. The same products that Donald Trump wants to add a tariff to and that Chinese manufacturers will raise the prices on for all of us. I think this story has real potential potential and I think it's being underreported and I'll bring you more information as I find out more about it myself. Thank you for watching.